Hi guys. Oops. Sorry, I bumped the camera. <laughs> uh, way, this way. There we go. How's that look? All right. A little shadowy to me. Oh, hang on. I have to close the door. My air conditioner is making lots of noise tonight. How are you, ladies? Hope you're all well. This is looking really crooked. Can't believe I knocked that out of whack. There we go. That's pretty good, right? It really looks shadowy to me, but it's hard for me to tell on my computer because I get a lot of glare. Glare. Hi Clay. Hi Philomena. Welcome, welcome. Well, I have two, possibly three cards tonight, and they're all different stamp sets. So I hope you enjoy tonight. Um, this has kind of been a last minute rush to get stuff together again, but I did it. I did it. So anyway, um, before I get started on that, let me find my little sheet and just go over. Ah, what are you doing? I am so sorry. I got busy, you know, making and, um, oh gosh, I can't find it. I'm looking for Judy's house code. One sec. I know it's here. Here it is. Okay. Judy's house code. Judy's party is going on to the 29th of June. And it is a great month to purchase um, because of the new catalog and just other exciting things. And Judy has a goal, and right now she's short of the goal, so any orders would be appreciated on her party. Her host code is T6PCEWEX, and I just first also want to say thank you to all those who already have ordered. Much appreciated. Hi, Renee. Did I miss anybody else? Clay, Philomena, Renee. Okay. Um also, it's a great time to join my team if you would like, because you can get a free bundle in addition to the starter kit valued at $125 for $99. And in addition to that, you get one of the past paper pumpkin kits. So it's a great time to join my team. If you're interested in that, talk to me. And if your order is significant, like $250 or more, then Unfortunately, you shouldn't use the host code for Judy because you will get not not you'll get an extra twenty five dollars worth of rewards um, only through June thirtieth. So that's timely with the party, but you know. Anyway, so that is my spiel for tonight. Oh, and another good reason to join my team is because things like what's going to happen tomorrow happen tomorrow we demonstrators will get our first look at the next mini catalog which used to be called the holiday catalog but now they're calling it the um oh gosh what are they calling it the august to december mini catalog they're changing the timing so that in 2021 we're going to have a january to june and a july to december but this year uh, and the annual catalog next year ends in May because of that. So they're going to have minis going all the time and an annual going all the time. Yeah. So I won't be able to share it with you because I'll only have the PDF and we get to pre-order in July. So stay tuned for that as demonstrators. It'll be August um, and Donna Jackson I believe it's still going to have a party starting in August. <laughs> well, I can't tell you anything about it right now other than there's going to be an August mini catalog and demonstrators get to see it early. So yay for us and a budget for our, our next things. It feels like it's way too soon because we just got into the annual catalog and I still have a lot of stuff to play with. So anyway, let's get started playing with those things and see what you might like. So you guys know when I did my haul, I said that this was one of my must have stamp sets. So that's the first one that we're going to use. And if I can unbury the card, I will show it to you. I just 
made a cute little card. A day without chocolate. And I did use that. It was like, um, just kidding. I have no idea. <laughs> Hi, Nix. Welcome. So this is the first card we're going to make. I had to use chocolate. And I did on this card use the new adhesive foam foam adhesive sheets for the candies and the chocolate actually but on the next one we're going to use the foam for the chocolate but we're going to use the adhesive sheets which are not foam uh, for the word and die cut it twice um, now you could use it two or three times but I'll, I'll walk you through all that if I can remember what I did <laughs> Because my brain is turning to mushy mush. And the, there's dyes that come with the bundle. Of course, the chocolates, which we're going to need. So I'm going to go ahead and get them out. And it uh, looks like I might have lost something. I don't know. Four chocolates right there. But I think I already die cut that. So, let me move this out of the way. We're going to need the stamps, of course. But they're already out. So, I've already die cut. Or... Yeah, I cut. I've already cut the card. Oh, I'm dropping stuff. Ah. Hi, Kathleen. Welcome. Thank you for coming by. You love the chocolate? Yeah, me too. And it's dark chocolate, early espresso, or that could be milk chocolate. I do have a tip about that, and I'll give it to you when we get that for. Okay, so just to show you. I recommend this is the foam which is about a sixteenth of an inch and this is the adhesive sheet you know just a regular sticky sheet for the words the first one I did on the foam and it looks all right but I really had to play with it because it was all bendy and everything I recommend for the word die cutting it with the foam adhesive I mean sorry the just the regular adhesive sheets like two or three times I only did it twice for this one and I'll show you that here this is it here let me put it on white it's not as thick as the foam um you could well I only did it twice but I think it just I don't know it just seemed like it went together better but for the chocolate definitely we're going to go with the foam on that one i love doing that and all you do uh well we're gonna do it we're gonna do it together i did the dark chocolate one already and i just stamped early espresso on early espresso um and all i stamped on it really was the uh, actually we're gonna do it over again because i messed that one up um you see it it actually <laughs> it got funny on the top that's a funky chocolate it got st stuck on here so we're gonna have to do it again but I did the word already. So anyway, let's get started. We're going to stamp on Whisper White with Early Espresso. And I have both chocolates here. Now, here's a tip, I think. Um, I tried it with two-tone chocolate, and I didn't I didn't personally like it. I was trying to use cinnamon cider for the like the inside, but it, it just didn't look right to me. So my tip is, um, and we're going to stamp it twice. You do the swirly outliney thing first, and then do, or maybe this is backward to what people are used to, but it's the only way I could sort of line it up. <laughs> And then do your chocolates. And I think I might have got that down too low. Yep. Now I got it up too high. Yeah. Well, so much for that tip, huh? <laughs> my eyes are bad. And it's hard to do it without sticking my whole head into the camera. So we'll try it again. Sorry about that. I did it pretty good the first time. So not up so high. You have to make it look so like it's almost over the line now I probably am there we go and it turns out pretty good it does not take up the whole swirly part anyway let's see how I did on these see I did pretty good on those I got them real good on those yeah anyway <laughs> flip it over and try again right 
Kathleen, my mom passed away. I thought you saw that on uh, Judy's live. She passed away on the 15th. And we're having the service on Friday um, at the Memorial Park, actually. And um, then we're having just family here. I don't even know if I'm in frame. Well, that one's a little high, too. I don't know. Anyway, it's kind of weird times, you know. And that one's up high. We're going with it anyway. It's going to do. So, let's see which ones I like better. <laughs> I think I like this one better. So, we're just going to close this up now. That's okay. No worries. It's all good. Well, it's not all good, but you know. <laughs> you didn't know. Um, anyway, so what I did, this was a two by three, I think, piece of paper, something like that. And we're just going to peel off one side of the adhesive and stick the whole thing down. I just found that to be easier for die cutting. It doesn't have to be on perfect either. And then we're going to just take our little die and I'm going to turn around and die. Can you hear that air conditioner? That is so loud. I heard that. I know. I'm so sorry. Food themes are your favorite. <laughs> Funny thing is, I have a um, I have a card I have to do for next month with a baking theme. Sorry, I'm turning around the die cut. Um, and I don't really have much, but then I thought, well, this has cookies in it, so this might be end up, end up what I use. I don't know yet. We'll see. I run it back and forth and back and forth for the um, for the foam, and it, it comes out pretty good. It sticks to your plate a little bit, but there it goes. Pop. See, that looks all right. And let me do the next one, and then we'll stamp our other stuff. And I'm a little off my game this week because of everything going on. I was out all morning doing a couple errands related to that. And, uh, and I'm frustrated with certain people, not family, other things. So when you use this, don't throw it out because... You can still use some of this for, you know, I don't know. Well, I don't know if you'd use it for dimensionals because now you have this paper stuck on here. But maybe you could punch a little circle or something out of it. I don't throw it away. You guys might want to. <laughs> so let me put my die away before I lose it. Which I just about lost another die tonight. I'm going to have to look for it when I'm done. So again, this is the card we're doing. Now, before we get too far, let's stamp. Ugh, kind of discombobulated. Let's stamp a day without chocolate. And we're going to do that in early espresso, too. Hi, Therese. Wow, we have a whole crew here tonight. Yay. That makes it so much more fun. So, for those that came in late, don't forget about Judy's party. It's going on to the 29th. Help her reach her goal, guys. I know a lot of you already have, and I appreciate that very much, actually. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. That didn't turn out too bad. Now, what we're going to use for that, after I snip it a little bit, is the um, punch that goes with the many mates. It is called... The Lovely Labels Punch, the double one, and we're going to do both ends, and we're going to do the fancy one, and this is about a half inch strip, so let's see if I get it in there, put it in right, Oops. except I have it too long, so I'm going to actually do it again, I have too much paper on the end, let me cut down this end too. And I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna cut that off a little bit too. Sorry. Told you I was discombobulated. 
that a word? Oh my gosh. Hi, Marla. Oh no. Oh no. It's probably mixed in with another die set somewhere. The one I lost, it well, I didn't lose it. I saw it slip out of the case. So it's in my drawer that I have for like labels and, you know, generic dies, like uh, circles and stuff like that. Um, but I just don't, I didn't have time to look for it because it happened right before I came on. Anyway, I'm going to do the other side of this now if I can hold it right. Yep, 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 yep. There we go. I made it a little too short for this. Okay. There we go. And I do want that end a little longer. So there we go. So that is the lovely labels punch number 152883. And I think it goes with the many mates stamp set. I'm pretty sure. No, it doesn't. It goes with lovely something else stamp set. Sorry. I'm still learning. <laughs> All right. Let us put some of this together. So this is a piece of the in color designer series paper. That's the side that looks like jeans, but we're going to use the polka dots. Now this one was three inches by five and a quarter, but I cut two quarter inch strips off this one. So this is two and a half, which is fine. We'll just make it a little thinner. And I have my trusty wet glue, although I, I will say I do love the seal. And the seal plus especially the seal plus um, so we're going to try and sort of center it doesn't have to be exact but it does have to stay straight <laughs> and then we're going to bump this little strip up on dimensionals you lose things all the time <laughs> I lose my glasses when they're on the top of my head. Anybody else do that? <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah, I have, well, I'm trying to keep busy. Um, today and tomorrow, I'm able to craft some. I'm, like, doing errands or chores part of the day and crafting part of the day. Um, oops stuck to me so this we're going to put up at the top and try and line it up a little bit across those polka dots um thursday i will not be crafting at all because that is um preparation day i have to make some food my daughter's going to make some food anyway so this is the adhesive on the back of chocolate the word and it's I have I did it twice remember and it just peels off real easy and we're just gonna put that across here I got a day without crooked can you believe that yes yeah, say yes I believe that Deb you get stuck crooked all the time <laughs> I saved the one from chocolate too from the foam the first one I, mean, I save everything for a while Okay, and then these, of course, are adhesive. So we'll put our little chocolates on. Yum, yum, yum. Let's see, this way. And then I just, I'll use this one. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to round that little, instead of doing it again, I'm just going to round it off a little bit. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And then this one has to go the opposite way. And then this one. Lots of chocolate. My mom loved chocolate. Well, she loved candy. Late her her latest, which really surprised me. Her latest favorite was mini heat ball tool. And the reason is I actually used the pointy end or the flat end even. And um it makes them, if you're not careful, it makes them separate and they're like clear enamel with a pink paper underneath kind of thing. I'm going to put this down here and the other one goes up there. And I don't think you can use them when they separate. So if you use the putty, that doesn't happen. Um, so there's another tip. And uh, yeah. 
And on the inside, all I did was a piece of Whisper White. Oh, no, I stamped something. Uh-oh. <laughs> I stamped, um. It's like, um, just kidding. I have no idea. So anyway, I have all this, this big bag. Oh, I'm buffering. I'm back. Uh-oh. I hope it's not here. I don't know. Could be here connection but it looks fine on my end but i oh thank you for the thumbs ups guys um i've been having trouble with um when i watch videos with them spooling a lot so anyway i'm gonna try and line it up with the grid boom oh i did pretty good guys i did pretty good yay <laughs> uh, good there okay good now i'm using glue on this also because and i think this is a little too long let me see yep i'll cut it though after i get it on because it's too thin for the um the seal which is a, a little wider than this strip is so and I don't want glue sticking out the edges. We're just going to put that on for that pop of color. Oops. It's funny, just before I came on, my one local friend called me. And um, she loves chocolate, too. She likes dark chocolate. So what's your favorite? Milk chocolate, dark chocolate, or it doesn't matter? <laughs> Let me know. Milk chocolate, dark chocolate, or or white chocolate too. I don't I don't know. I used to love white chocolate when I was a kid, which of course isn't really chocolate. So this is actually five by three and three quarter. The first one I did was five and a quarter by four. About the same. I think that is a cute card. What do you think? You like it? Thank you, Judy. So anyway, that is, it's a pretty easy card. Um, I just think this looks better. I don't really like the, the white foam sticking up on the word chocolate for some reason. It doesn't bother me on these, but yeah, so pretty fun. So I'll probably be doing cookies next and followed by coffee because, you know, I love my coffee. Got to have coffee. Somebody posted on Instagram that they were drinking a lot of water, but it was brown. It was mixed with coffee grounds and, you know, <laughs> gone through a, a coffee pot, but still water. You like anything with chocolate? You haven't met a chocolate you didn't like? <laughs> yeah, mine too, Marla. <laughs> Thank you, Kathleen. Okay, so that is card number one. I love that set, and I will be using it a lot, I'm sure. Um, let me see how many dies there are. Nine. Let me make sure I have them all in here. I don't. Because, hmm. See, this is what I do. I already, I thought I put that in here. Oh, it slid down. There it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. And the, there's another set of words in here. It says, I forget. It's not one of the stamps, though. It says, love you more than. So you could do love you more than chocolate, coffee, or cookies, or cocktails, depending on who you're sending it to. Yep. So that's pretty cool, too. Oh, I'll use... I'm sure I'm going to use all of these, actually, at some point here in the next few weeks. All right. have to move all this stuff out of the way. Figure out where to put them. Let me see. Let me put all this on here. <laughs> if I need the blocks, I'll come rob that again later. Okay. Card number two goes a different direction. <clears throat> Excuse me. Here's card number two. Can't believe we're already to card number two and it's only 726. Thank you, thank you. Hello, Denise. Thank you for joining us and for your kind comment. 
You can't stand men. Oh, now see. Hmm. I do like like Girl Scout cookies, chocolate with mint. Yeah, I like that. I do like mint. Uh, certain mints. I'm not big on peppermint, but I love wintergreen. Okay, so we are digress. So this is the next one. We're going to be using this stamp set, Basket of Blooms. It doesn't have dyes with it. Um, but the punch that goes with it, <laughs> I've buried somewhere. Oh, here it is. Is the small bloom punch, which was from Celebration, but it carried over into the annual catalog. There's the number 152316. So we're going to be using that. And this one I did on Bumblebee. And I'm using papers out of the Flowers for Every Season. Flowers for Every Season Designer Series paper, which I would show you. If I could figure out what I did with it. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, I don't know where it is. It's here. It's right by me. I think here it is. Flowers for every season. It's six by six. And um, it this is goes with all the new in colors like Bumblebee, Cinnamon Cider, Just Jade, Magenta Madness, Misty Moonlight, Poppy Parade, and Whisper White. So I chose to use bumblebee, and then the flowers in here are, um, are the leaves are just jade. So we're going to stamp this, but I use terracotta tile. Now the thing is, we don't have terracotta tile in blends, so I use Cajun Craze, which we're going to do. And then these are stamped in just jade, and these are stamped in... Um, Bumblebee in on both on uh, Whisper White and on Bumblebee and then this is Misty Moonlight just to give it a base and this actually is kind of a cased card oh, let me bring the catalog here this stamp set is on page 48 and if you look at these they're pretty similar not exact because I used a different um, base but they're showing you how to step up a card from simple to a little more advanced or casual they call it to avid and you can take a look at that and just see the differences and the one we're doing I guess it's probably something in between these two I don't know hi Mary I'm doing good in Oklahoma <laughs> oh thank you Judy so this stamp set is called Basket of Blooms. We're not going to use the basket tonight. We're just going to use the flower pot, this, this piece here, and the two flowers. Um, and then on the inside, we'll use this leaf and these little flowers. Okay, so let's get started. So how to do this? We're going to do our stamping first. Oh, now the thing is, too, this set does not have any sentiments so I did bring in the many mates and I used just thinking of you but you could use any of these actually and I just punched that out with a one and a half inch circle punch and that's stamped in just jade so I forgot to say that so we'll do that in a minute too um, so let me get the paper now this piece of paper is, oh boy, I think it's three by three and, yeah, three by three and three quarter. Yep. Three across by three and three quarter. And that's going to get put onto a piece of bumblebee that's three and a quarter by four. Okay. So let's do our stamping. So to do this, I stamped out a flower pot to use as a mask and I just put a tiny little dab of seal on and if we don't press it down real hard um, it should come back up let's pray that it does and we're doing that to stamp our stems okay so let me get all my stamps out here our leaves I mean Thank you, thank you, everybody. Okay, so I'm going to get Just Jade out. 
I love the new in colors this year. That's what that one was stamped in, by the way. And we'll just ink it up. Make sure we have it all and put it right down on our our pot, not vase, pot. There is a vase in the stamp set too, or vase, however you say it. I say vase, you say vase, I don't know. And there we go. And then we just pull this up and we'll clean that off in a second. And then we're going to stamp our pot on. And we're going to do that in terracotta tile. Appropriate color for a terracotta pot, huh? <laughs> anyway. Now, the pot is not solid. It is um, hollow when you stamp it. So you do have to color it in if you want it to be any kind of solid. So I'm just trying to get it right at those leaves. Hopefully I did. Pretty good. Part of it is going to be covered up by, um, let me get my chamois, by a flower. So I'll just clean that off, clean my leaves off. My dirty looking chamois that actually is, well, it's a little dirty. It's not perfectly dirt or dirty or clean. Okay, and then we need to stamp our flowers and punch them. So we need bumblebee. And there's two flowers. They have a slightly different design. We use one of each. There's one. And there's two. And I'm going to use that same one, but I'm going to stamp it over here on Bumblebee. I hope that was in frame. And I'll clean them in a second, too. Okay. So let's go ahead and punch them out a while. And save your mask. I keep it in my stamp. Actually, I have it on my punch, but I keep it in my stamp set case because you can use it several times again, you know. Um, start to clean that uh, until it gets worn out. That way you don't have to, because you have to fussy cut that. So, And you want to fussy cut it close to the line you stamp on so you don't have white around the edges. And these just line up pretty easily. You just want to get all those little points in between the petals. Ta-da. Mm, well, I say, I say that. There we go. Two. I got a little weight on that. A little much weight on that. This is the probably the most complex card of the night. <laughs> I wasn't even sure we'd get to card three because I didn't finish it. But anyway, we're going to try. All right, let me take a second to clean my stamps. Da -da 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 -da. And then we'll do some coloring. All right. So let's first do... I'm just going to use... Let's see. I think I'm, I just used light just jade for the leaves and um let's try the short end instead of the brush end because these are kind of skinny leaves this is not real fancy coloring because there's already you know just jade there you can shade them if you want to but yeah, honestly they're going to get covered up a good bit anyway so i don't really feel like we need it for this card Did I miss anybody? Okay, Kathleen. See you next time, hopefully. Yeah, I always forget the West Coast is, um, it's like 4 p.m. there or something. <laughs> we actually ordered takeout last night, or actually delivery of Chinese foods. First time I've had Chinese food delivery since the stay at home order. So, th like three months or so. Tasted really good. Really bad calorie count, though. <laughs> and we did, we did, we restrained. We didn't um, 
that's not the right word, but anyway, you know what I mean. We didn't really get, we just got two things and we both, my son and I both shared them instead of getting, like usually we get an appetizer and two dishes and sometimes a, an extra side or something. But we just got two dishes and shared them. Because I am trying to be good. Well, trying to be better anyway. Now I just have to get back to the walking and exercising. But you know what? Today was like 87 degrees or something. I cannot. I just wilt. And I picked to have the service for mom on Friday because it's going to be, it's going to be outside, but it's going to be under a roof and um, like in a breezeway. And it will be shitty, shady around that time. But I picked that day because the weather says, hopefully they're right. That it's only going to be 82 and not 87 or 89 or 91 like the next day. I think tomorrow is supposed to be 91. So there's the easy coloring of the leaves. And then for the pot, we're going to use dark and light. We're going to use dark first. Um, terracotta tile. So these it has stripes here. And we're going to just kind of go down the side. I'm using the brush end for this. You could use either end and just come in. I think I actually went all along the edge and all along this edge and then down and in. Okay. And then just color it in and blend it, blend it out. I like to do circular motions for blending. It seems to blend a little better. I don't know. Now let's do the bottom. Hi, Jen. Welcome, welcome. And then here, and um, the whole idea of doing the lighter in the middle is to hopefully give it that roundish look. But I do go across the bottom, usually. And down the sides where they have the shading. And I find the fine tip sometimes works better and sometimes the, the other end, I don't know. And then just come in like this again. Okay, let's do the light and then I might have to go back with the with the dark again. We'll let that dry. I don't know if I'm totally happy with that. We'll see. And then what I did on the other one, which actually helps blend it out a little bit too, is just put a little wink of Stella on. And that actually blends some too. Now, terracotta pot would not be shiny normally, but it, it just adds a little sparkle on the card. It's not much. Okay. Now, while that's drying, we have to get terracotta tile out again. There is a ribbon in the stamp set or a bow if you want, you know, like, a, like a twine. We're going to just use terracotta tile again. And put it right, can you see? Yeah. Put it right over around that uh, lip, like, just to define it a little bit. I got it down a little low, but it's all right. It's a saggy bow. <laughs> kind of like me. <laughs> you put a small video up, but you posted it to the... Okay, I haven't had a chance to be on Facebook much, so I'll look. Um probably tomorrow honestly okay now what I used for the bottom is 
Hmm. It's going to be on a crooked table. I just used, um, let me get a scrap. Misty Moonlight. Um, is this light? Yeah, I just used light. I'm kind of just going to go around the base. And up a little bit and over. Now you wouldn't have to color this whole thing in, but I just felt like it looked like it was on a table that way or something. And these are the alcohol markers, the Stampin' Blends. I'm being kind of sloppy. <laughs> Trying to be fast. Okay. I think that's pretty good. We don't like the streaks so much in it, but it's all right. Okay. Okay. There we go. There we go. So, now, let's just put that on our little piece of... Now, you could also color the back in, but I'm not going to bother. We're just going to put this on the backing piece, which, again, is three and a quarter by four. Oh, yippee. Jen got a nice order. She sure did. Thank you, Judy. That was sweet of you. Okay, so this is the designer paper out of the flowers for every season. And the funny thing about this one is when I put it on here, I'm like, oh, but the flowers are hanging down. But they're also coming up this way. So it's multi-directional, but it just looked weird at first. I'm going to put it this way, I think. This is the other side. Oh, I guess we can tell by that. That's definitely right side up. So we're going to do it this way. That's pretty too, but that wasn't me tonight. <laughs> Boy, I wish I had more cards ready because we're going to be done early tonight, guys, which is okay, which is okay. All right, and then we're going to glue this down as well. We have a little bit more stamping to do. But we'll go ahead and put our flowers and stuff on first. We're going to raise it up a little bit. Okay, so um, I have another scrap of white here somewhere. Here we go. We're going to stamp Just Thinking of You in Just Jade. <laughs> with the color variations, with the blue and the white, you mean? Well, I meant like you could use pool party or something up here, but I just didn't feel like that color made the flowers pop by putting too much on the background. Oh, now I stamped that down too low to the edge because I want to circle out of it. I'm going to do it over here. Okay, and then actually I'm going to leave the Just Jade out. Um, we're just going to use the one and a half inch circle punch and punch that out. And there we go. And I'll put that away. Um, and that's going to be popped up here on dimensionals. Um, and I think before we do any more on the front, we're going to stamp the inside because I have the Just Jade open. And I'm overkilling this because I don't want it to, with four dimensionals, because I don't want it to be floppy down there in the corner. There's a lot of nice sentiments in that Many Mates stamp set. You could use any of them on this card, really. And just put that in the corner here. And then let's stamp our inside before we... On the inside of this one, I just put those little flowers and a couple leaves. So 
Um, let me get the bumblebee. <laughs> she means she bought a lot, Clay. Jen is a demonstrator. So, um, yeah, she's loving that discount, I can tell. <laughs> and so do I. Um, now, I don't know. I, I did put, oh, I had to clean that. I did put leaves on the first one. I guess I will stamp off and put leaves on because I wasn't crazy about how they came out. Um, but we'll try it. Let me get rid of the bumblebee. And let's see how we do. Bring in a scrap. I think we'll just stick one here. I think I'm going to make them sort of abstracty, so they're not actually touching the flowers. And I think that's all I'm going to do. Two of them. I just threw out my stamp. Oh my word. <laughs> Good thing I emptied the trash yesterday. <laughs> oh boy. It's been a weird week. You know, not just the other stuff going on, but um, thank you, Philomena. Um, like yesterday morning, the trash people and recycle usually comes by like six o'clock in the morning, or sometimes the recycle people will come, um, and the trash won't come to like nine. But yesterday it was like three o'clock in the afternoon and nobody came and I hadn't gotten a call, which is really weird. And it wasn't, I thought, well, maybe because Friday was Juneteenth, that was a holiday for them and everything got pushed back a day. Cause that's what they do now for the holidays. They so I thought, well, maybe they're not coming until Tuesday, but usually they call and let us know that. And they didn't. So I called and the lady checked and she said, no, there was a situation where some of the routes didn't get finished. And I said, okay. She said 24 to 48 hours. So the trash was out two nights in a row. And, and we've been seeing raccoons around here lately. I mean, they're in bins and stuff. But, you know, anyway. All right, Deb. Stop talking, Deb, and get making your cards. <laughs> yeah, Jen did. Uh, no, she didn't, actually. She should have. She would have got more freebies. But anyway. Because of the special that's going on this month with the $250, 25 extra in rewards. So. Anyway, so speaking of that, by the way, guys. Okay, these we're just going to stick the flowers right on the branches, wherever we feel like. One up high here. Um... The one that's on Bumblebee I'm putting down here. Hanging over the pot. The flowers hanging over the pot. And the last one, if I can get this thing off and get them off my fingers, we'll put sort of in the middle somewhere, like here, here. Okay, so that's that. And then Stampin' Up! has these new little butterflies which are so cute um and i thought i would use a couple of them since we have terracotta tile on here and that's what these this color is these are last year's in colors and this is terracotta tile and i just have one over here full of putty now okay the butterflies i recommend you use the other end so you don't get putty on them. And then I have one just flying over here. Usually I use three, but I didn't want to use three with the butterflies. And then also, so you can figure out what I did with them. Uh-oh, here they are. Um, we're going to use the, what do you call it? Bumblebee in the center of the flowers. Just to give them a little more shine and prettiness. And I just because I can and I want to. <laughs> 
And that is our card. I think it came out pretty well. A little stamping, a little fancy paper, and a cutie cutie card. Yeah, I love butterflies. Yeah, me too. Loving the, all the embellishments. And there's some other ones I didn't even get to use yet. So, anyway, there's card number two. What time is it? Yeah, me too, Gloria. Thank you, Paige. All right, let me put them away real quick and clean my stamps and move them off the table. And then we'll make the third card together because I don't have one made for you yet. And it's going to be easier, so we're definitely going to be done early tonight. All right, let me get all these out of the way. Put my ink pad up. All righty. So that was two stamp sets, Basket of Blooms and the Sentiment. In fact, let me just put the Sentiment away. I have them all off from this from the Many Mates, which is all Sentiments. So really a great stamp set if you need sentiments <clears throat> and uh, the rest of these I'll just stick on top of here and put them on the floor and bring the other part of a card up now I just hope my cat doesn't come in and do something with my cards <laughs> okay so the next one we're gonna use the postal stamp I, I just started playing with it right before the live, so I didn't get much started. And I feel like I just dropped something, but I'm not sure. So here's the stamp set. Posted for you and a piece of my hair. <laughs> Love it. I want to use this soon, but I just, I don't know. So tonight I used the Love and the Special Delivery. And another piece of the flowers for every season desire paper and misty moonlight um cardstock okay let me move them out of the way all right well we'll just continue so this um is five and a half by three and three quarter i think let me get my ruler. Gloria. Oh, okay. I said hi already. Okay. Well, we're probably going to end early tonight, Jen, because, um, okay. Yeah. So three and a half or three and three quarter, excuse me, three and three quarter by five and a half. And I had it originally planned something different and I don't know, it wasn't coming together. So, Here's what I did. I stamped this on Whisper White in Misty Moonlight, the love, this stamp. If you can see it through the, there we go. I have two on a block. And I also stamped the special delivery. Now, this is the smallest regular layering circles die. And it cuts it just a little bit tiny bit small on the one edge but not bad um the one and a half inch circle is too big unless you like a lot of white around the edge probably it's better just a fussy cut but i can't fussy cut circles good either so i stamped it and i was just thinking of having this here with a bow like this something like this and this is um out of the flowers for every season wait is it yeah flowers for every season ribbon, ribbon combo pack i'm not sure that's orderable right now but in it there is the misty moonlight and silver and white twine and that's what i'm using for this the twine and then i don't know maybe i think i might put that down and put this up here but i feel like i need a little Ooh, I just got an idea. Hang on. <laughs> I feel like I need a little flower in there or something. Where's my little flower? So I'm going to take this little flower from the basket of blooms. 
and stamp it in the center of there. I do too. Love, well, I'm a blue person, so I tried to give you a variety of colors tonight. So we have um, Magenta Madness with Early Espresso. Oh, I like that better. I just like that better. It has to have a flower on it because this is all flowers, right? And I thought about leaving the Love Monochromatic, but I just felt like I wanted to pop a color. So I'm debating, do I want this down here and this over here or this up there and this? I feel like I need a circle, like a solid circle around this. So let me um, we'll make another one of these, I think, because I have stuff cut for it. I'm just going to use a one and a half inch circle punch and put it behind this. All right, now I think I like this better. What do you think? How does that look? Backwards to me on my screen. <laughs> I mean, I don't have it on there yet. Don't forget guys, 16 watching, seven thumbs ups. Please, please, thank you in advance nice the way it is well not lopsided like I did it but should I color that I don't want to color that little flower I just want this one to pop just I think like that I think the love needs to be up at the top that's what I'm going to do okay so what I did is I punched out um, let's see if I have another piece now. Um, a piece, you know, another stamp. Actually, I did it already. And I cut it in half. And then I punched one out of Whisper White after I stamped on it. So let's just go ahead and do that and I'll show you. I just closed up my ink. So we'll do it again. We'll make two. And then we'll color this one. Um, I actually am going to stamp that off because I got it on the edge too much. All right, let's try it and see. Hopefully I won't get that. Yep. <laughs> I'm trying to be careful so I don't get that edge, but then I didn't get the top. There we go. Beautiful. Love it. <laughs> love it. And the word is love. I'm just cleaning it real quick. Hopefully. Okay. And let's stamp our special delivery. Let's see. Will that fit? Yep. Special delivery for you. Okay, now we can close this up. And so before we get those punched in, well, we'll cut this one out with the punch. Love this punch. Yep, I have to cut a little of this off. I hope I didn't cut too much off now. Nope, perfect. Looking in the computer to see if it looks straight. <laughs> yeah, Bone China. Yep. Mm -hmm. And it has a name for that Bone China, but I can I can never remember it. <sighs> anyway, I'll color that in a minute. Let's glue this on. Again, five and a quarter by three and three quarter beautiful paper or you could even do it in just jade or cinnamon cider and at holiday time and flip that over right anyway
I just got ink or glue. Okay, let's color. I colored it with Magenta Madness and Just Jade. No kidding. I think, I can't remember if I used light or dark. I think I used dark on this one. And also, I used Misty Moonlight in the letters, too. And uh, that was light. I'm going to use the brush tip. Just use little feathery touches with the point of it. Trying to be careful not to get on this piece right here because that is actually that green part underneath the flowers. You know, part of this stem. Actually, this might be too, but I'm going to color that in. Blue Willow. Thank you. Excellent. Good job. Did you cheat and look it up or you just have one of those great memories? <laughs> My memory sucks. Sorry. <laughs> but it does. Yes, she did. Yeah, she did get that punch. And somebody else did, too. can't remember if it was Justine or someone else. Or two other people, maybe. It's a popular punch, guys. And it was one of my first, when I first looked in the catalog, I was like, okay, I need that. I love punches, too. The only thing I don't like about punches is how much room they take up. But if you don't get too, too many, it's okay. And I love dies, too. As long as my die cutting machine works, which, yeah, that's a whole nother story. <laughs> anyway. I had an untimely, another untimely death in my family, that of my big kick. Anyway. Just decided to not work. No pressure. And then I'm going to use the bullet end also to, I could leave the letters like that, but I felt like coloring them in because everything else is colored in. These remind me when I was in high school, we used to write, you know, 70s uh, fancy letters. They weren't quite like this, but everything was open <laughs> and colored in different colors. But some of you are too young to know about that. <laughs> what? Fixed what? Hi, Brandy. Okay. You're eating, so just listening. Okay. You remember odd things more. Or less. <laughs> yeah, me too. And usually when I'm sleeping and I have weird dreams and stuff comes back to me. Okay. What broke? Fixed her dot. Oh, her big shot. Okay. I watched a video on that. But it looked to me like it was fixing the gears. And I don't. And what they had to do was buy ball, new ball bearing things to put in the gears. And then, but there were so many screws and everything. And I thought, I will totally mess that up if I try that. Okay. I had another. We never finished putting this one together. Let me turn around and die cut this and see if I can get it a little more straight. See, it's really tight. It kind of takes off some of that outside border but it's okay as long as i can read the special delivery i'll be right back i didn't throw mine out it's here and someday when i'm not pressed for time and feel like being a fix-it girl and maybe with my son will See if we can figure it out, and then I'll use it as a spare. But it, it was seven or seven years old, I think. 
All right, I'm putting my die away so I don't lose it. It goes in my drawer down here. <laughs> so if it falls out of the packet, at least it's in the drawer. All right, and I need another, I don't know if I can get another one and a half inch out of here. Yes, I can. I'm not convinced I really like that, but I don't have a one and a quarter inch punch, which would be, oh, here's the other one. And this I'm going to put on my trimmer and I'm going to just cut it in half roughly. So let's see, it is about one and three eighths. Mm -hmm. So that's probably like five eighths something like that. I'm just eyeballing it in the middle of that scallop. There we go. Looks pretty good. <laughs> All right, we'll do that one in a minute. Let's finish assembling this one. This I put um, dimensionals on. You see what I did? I just put a little bit of um, seal and put it out the top and the bottom to just give it a little background and then put um, dimensionals on. So we'll do that for the other one too in a moment. And we're going to put that up here. And the bow I already tied and just stuck it on with a glue dot. And this I think I think what I'll do is glue the blue down, but I'll put the little one up on a dimensional. I'm, <laughs> I'm getting the, um, yeah, poor Paige, hers just quit too. Uh, I'm getting the mini one when, it, when it's available, but the big one will come out. I was going to get the big one thinking that my big kick would kick it which it kicked it a little too early the big one should be out in uh, I think September for customers August for demonstrators the little one we don't have a date yet um, but they're saying before the end of the year so I can't wait for that because then I'll be able to put it on my desk when I'm for most things when I'm die cutting stuff for you yeah, she got a lot of use out of it. Okay, so then we're just going to put the special delivery down here. Actually, I'll turn it so the words are up. And I don't know what I want to do on the inside yet, so let's do the other front first. <laughs> Get rid of my scraps. We already stuck that down, so let's get my seal. I have ink all over my fingers. How do I do that? And we're just going to go like that. Yeah, a little more. Good enough. Stick that over there. And then I just want a little bit to show. So I just kind of lined it up with the notches on the sides. And that gave me a nice little edge. And with the seal, you can actually slide it just slightly, you know, for a minute or two. Let's see, did I do that one? Got a little extra on that one. Oops. There we go. Push it down. Get some more dimensionals. I'm using the edges of my dimensionals. Cut a few more. Yeah, well, that would probably be too expensive. Clay and heavy for shipping also. I don't know. I mean, shipping is already so bad. But yes, I wouldn't have minded that either. But, oh well. Okay. So we'll just pop this up. I'm sorry I only have three cards for you tonight, um, but I think they're pretty, and they use a variety of 
things like I had promised. And now let's do this one next. Oops. And I need my scissors. Here we go. I want one of these bigger ones. Yeah, me too. Yeah, a little bit like the... I, I never had a cuddle bow, so... Um, but I did have seen them. It does seem a little bit like that. Now I have this little piece of the twine I'm going to attempt, probably unsuccessfully, <laughs> to tie a bow with it with my inky fingers. And we'll see. It's going to be too small, I think. But we'll try. Let's try. I didn't do too bad. Uh, except this one's unwinding. Wind back up. Okay, so now we need a glue dot. And we're going to sort of take my tip of my scissors and roll it a little bit. And, oops, and stick it on the back. Just stick that right on the corner there. And I'm going to actually cut this one off just a little bit. It, I, I don't mind it fraying some, but it's really a little too much. All right. I don't have an inside cut for this one, so we'll do the inside on this. And I think I should stamp a flower or something. I could put some little flowers on it. Or, let's see... What else is on here? Oh, I'll just put these flowers. That would be pretty. That would be pretty. So let's do that. Um, I need a block. Okay, I have to rob a block from somewhere. My chocolate block. Ah! And misty moonlight. <laughs> Deb's delightful designs. Hmm. I don't know, Clay. I can't draw. I I do good at creating with things that already exist. Let's see. I think this time I'm going to put it in this corner. So pretty. I want to do that as a background pattern on a card, though. So that will be a future video most likely. All right, now I'll color them in Misty Moonlight and Just Jade. It's still a little wet. I can see it. I don't know. I'm actually thinking, I don't know if I want to color that to kind of bring the, the color of the paper. And I do actually have some of the paper. Hmm. If I do that, I'll put it over here. I think I like that. Just leave it like that and put a little strip over here. So that's what I'm going to do. You still have yours too? Your cuddle bug? Hmm. Yeah, it's good to have a backup. I didn't throw out my big kit because it still cuts a little bit. It just, you have to... You have to put it on the left side or the right side to get any kind of cut out of it. Nothing in the middle cuts at all. So there's definitely a pressure roller issue, which maybe I can fix when I'm not lazy and keep a little tray by me, several little trays that are labeled well with where all the screws go and stuff, you know. I used wet glue for that because, see, I had to slide a little bit. And this little piece, I'm not going to save. Sorry, little piece. I sometimes do, but I'm not. It's a little small. All right. Let's use the seal, shall we? We'll use the seal. I, I just 
start it with my finger. Hopefully I didn't get, well, it doesn't really matter. See, it glides on so smooth, except I didn't start it right up there. There we go. Glides on so smooth. I actually like the um, Seal Plus a little better, personally. But I'm sure it's, it's preference. There we go. Voila, card three. Let me clean my stamp real quick. Put these away. And then we'll bring everything back in. So if you are interested in any of these beautiful products that we use tonight, um, for any of my cards, which I've lost, <laughs> there we go. And chocolate. We have quite the variety tonight. We do. So a day without chocolate, just thinking of you and love. And I don't know what I want to put on the inside as far as maybe nothing for a sentiment there. Um, using a combination of posted for you, many mates, and basket of blooms, which is on the floor buried in stamps. And nothing's better than bundle for this one, as well as the this punch, lovely labels punch. And this one has the postage, rectangle postage stamp. Love them, love them all. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Paige. Uh, Judy, most of the people that have been million dollar sellers have been doing it for most, not all, have been doing it for 15, 20, 25 years. So I kind of in my lifetime don't think so. But yeah, I'll be happy if I make enough to pay for new stuff and have a little bit of income. Right now I'm kind of breaking even. <laughs> oh, thank you, Paige. Thank you, Judy. Yeah, stationary or like the paper is, is just blue and white. So I figured just make it like the paper and not add color in there. I have color on the love. Just wanted that pop of color. You could leave that blue and white too. But I felt like I wanted a pop of color on them. So that is all I have for tonight. Don't forget Judy's party again. I'm going to be relentless because it's coming to an end on the 29th, which is already Monday, guys. So if you want anything else, please, please, please shop under Judy's Party um, for any order under 150 for sure. And it's T6PCEWEX. If you're interested in joining my team, good time to join. And if you join, you can see the preview of the new mini catalog that's coming out august to december thank you philomena i appreciate it um so let's see when will i be back on i will be back on thursday for smash that small paper pad not stamping up and saturday is uh hopefully <laughs> stickier side of crafting as well as that's at um i think that one's at noon correct me if i'm wrong whoever's in in that and then at 5 p.m i'll have saturday stamping tips techniques and more and i have no idea what that'll be but that one will be stamping up products yeah, me too, Judy. I appreciate everyone's orders. And uh, also, thank you for joining me tonight and keeping me company. Thank you for the thumbs ups, ladies and gents. And I, um, oh, and tomorrow at noon is Paper Pumpkin Alternatives. So come see that. Um, I tr well, you'll just have to come see. And for those of you who are subscribers to Paper Pumpkin with me, you got an exclusive video or on my team, you got a link to an exclusive video just for you guys. 
Um, tomorrow's video will have six cards and the exclusive also has six cards. So I've made alternatives, 12 alternatives and Paige tomorrow at noon has lots of alternatives too. So come join us at noon tomorrow. Thank you, Judy. Love you too. Um, yeah. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go and I'm going to clean up my mess here. I always have to do that because this is all I have for space to work on. Um, this little desk here, when the computer's on it to my left, it takes up a whole, well, the size of a fairly large laptop. <laughs> oh, you're welcome, Paige. Thank you. Thank you for joining and good luck tomorrow, Paige. Good night, everybody. All right, let me write that. I always forget to do that. <laughs> now let's see if it'll end end for me tonight. Bye next. Thank you. Bye everybody.